Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nine Miles As Seen on TV and Gadget Review Channel. Today, I'm going to do another Red Copper demo. This is the Red Copper As Seen on TV 5-Minute chef, chef Electric Meal Maker endorsed by the one and only Kathy Mitchell right here. So, thank you once again for everyone that gave stars. I'm 20%, 22% of the way there, so I really appreciate it. And so, on to the review. So, I'm going to make some sliders in the red copper, because yesterday I was reviewing the red copper for the first time, and I said, does this sear steak? So today, I'm gonna see how it, how well it cooks uh, hamburger. And maybe someday I'll do steak, but uh, hamburger will be a good test. So once again, this is the red copper. Uh, I did recommend it, it did do a good job, but I wanna do hamburgers, because I didn't test any meat yesterday, and I wanna do that today. So I'm gonna make some hamburger sliders, and see if it actually cooks it well. So yeah, I don't know what, uh, these are back-to-back -back reviews. I don't know how, uh, how many viewers will be on here, but I'm gonna make some sliders. So we have some nice grass-fed beef right here. Or at least I think it's nice. And I'm just going to load, load up these little compartments, try to do it equally. And wash my hands. All right. Here we go. Yeah, Christine, yum. Yeah. So this is, this is lunch, actually. I decided to do a quick review. Or not, it probably won't be that quick, but yeah, check that out. So this is a product that I reviewed in a previous video. It's the Progressive um, Slider Maker, and you make these little mini burgers. It does a great job. I like, it's just a simple concept, and it works well. It makes these nice little patties. But for the sake of time, so the, the red light's on or the orange light's on, it should turn green, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to put these in here. You can hear it sizzle. That's a good sign. There we go. All right, I'm gonna close it up. Uh, this does not come from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is, more Dollar Tree uh, reviews coming soon, but this is not from the Dollar Tree. This thing on Amazon retails for like $59.99. I was doing a little bit of looking at prices and it looks like it ranges from like 25, 30, 35, at, at the low end, but of course shipping, you're gonna be spending a lot more. Um, so shop around, a lot of people said they got it for around like 30 bucks, but on Amazon it's $59.99. All right, I'm gonna turn on this fan here. Get some bread going, so I'm gonna cook some bread, toast it up. Alexa, set timer for two minutes. So what I'm gonna do is just kinda of do two minutes, then I'm gonna flip it. The patties look good, uh, thin, tops might not be touching. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, the dollar store, if it came from the dollar store, that would be like the find of the century. I think the dollar store, that would be an idea if you're watching this and you work there. Uh, like Costco does it, where you have these like bonus items, you know, like amazing things at amazing prices. And they're kind of, I think they're called like treasure items. I don't get, I don't know exactly what they're called, but I know Costco does that. I can see Dollar Store putting in like treasure chest items, like where it, they're worth way more than a dollar. They only put them in occasionally. And then if you find them, you know, it's your lucky day, you know, and they could pick times, random times throughout the day. I think that could be fun. All right, actually, I'm not gonna wait two minutes. I can kind of smell them, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip it. But yeah, check this out. I mean, already, you can see the browning on this thing. Not sticking. All right, there we go. All right. 
can see the smoke coming out of here. Once again, this is a red copper, five minute chef, as seen on TV. There's all sorts of brand names. You have uh, Bob Bulbhead.com, it's Telebrands, uh, endorsed by Kathy Mitchell here. Kathy Mitchell, if you don't know, is kind of a classic infomercial, as seen on TV type personality. And she has the five minute, or no, no dump, di <laughs> dump dinners. That's it. You know, all these uh, cookbooks. All right. Alexa, off. Alexa, set timer for one minute. Alexa, what's left on the timer? Alexa, set timer for one minute. Alright, 19 viewers here. We're just waiting for the burgers, the sliders to cook. I'm just going to top these off a little bit, just real quickly. Okay. Now we're gonna open this up. How did it do what how did it do? Alexa off. And there we go, look at that. Seems like it should be done. It's definitely hot enough here. Alright, let's actually no. <laughs> it's not done yet. All right, let's put in some more. It was, uh, yeah, I don't know if you see that, but there's definitely, yeah, let's, let's set it in. Uh, Alexa, set time for one more minute. Alexa, set timer for one minute. Right. Oh, Christine, thank you. 50 stars on Christine. Thank you so much once again. Thank you for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. But yeah, we're just waiting on the sliders here. Cooking in the red copper five minute chef. Comes with a recipe booklet. If you didn't see this yesterday, some water got on into the box, unfortunately. But I can just show you some of the uh, recipes here. You have eggs, you can make omelets, hash browns, big bacon pancake, corn dog, express pizza, stuffed chicken, asparagus and beef roll-ups, Pies, lava cake. All right, so it's about done. Alexa, off. All right, open this up. Check this out. Be interesting to see how this cleans up. This is probably the first real test of this nonstick surface. Alexa, off. All right, so wherever it's at, I'm gonna eat it. I think it's ready. This one was a little little thicker, so I think it took more time. All right, I'm gonna unplug it. All right, but how does it taste? So here we go, three, two, one. You finally caught alive, says Curtis. Uh, is that your name? Yeah, I'm just looking at the, uh, at the scroll. Okay. Oh, that's great. 
All right, so let's try this out. Three, two, one, slider. And yeah, pretty good. Cooked perfectly, it's not dried out. Um, did a good job, cooked it in about five minutes, which I would say, I, I would say it's probably similar to a pan, so I don't know if there's a really time savings. Uh, and it might actually be harder to clean this up. We'll see in a second. Uh, it might actually be harder to clean this up than, a, than just a regular pan. But um, yeah, let's just give this a, because um, I was really curious about the nonstick coating yesterday. It was really easy to clean up. But this is a test because one of the main features is the nonstick coating. Once that wears off, since you can't take off the plates, it makes this really difficult to clean. So let's test it out. Here we go. All right, so the easy stuff came out. Yeah, so, so far so good. Yeah, pretty much everything is easily, you can just wipe it out. That's pretty impressive actually. Yeah, this is good nonstick coating. We'll see if it lasts, but right now, it works pretty well. And I've noticed that a lot of people that have uh, these machines, they spray them with, uh, you know, cooking spray, uh, you know, spray oil, whatever it is. Uh, and it, I think it prolongs the surface of these things. So, yeah, with the, with the old nonstick coating, it definitely, it eventually would come off, but a lot of people prolonged it by just at, putting cooking spray every time they used it. So, you can check it out. Look at that. It took it off. So, that was the first real test to, like, this coating, and it it passed. It, it actually, nonstick coating worked. So, there you have it. It's the sliders, making sliders with the... Uh, the Red Copper 5-Minute Chef, and it did a good job. And now I'm going to have my lunch here. And thanks for watching, everyone, uh, for the review. i uh, watching the review, and uh, glad some people caught the Facebook Live for the first time. And thank you for the stars once again. And until next time, I'll see you later.